Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 75 uh, degrees, whereas uh, this angle uh, ABC is 45 degrees. And moreover, this side length uh, AB is uh, X minus 5 whereas this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, X minus 7. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this X variable. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, given triangle ABC, this angle is 75 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees. So therefore, this angle ACB has got to be 60 degrees. And in this uh, next step, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular AD on this uh, side BC. And as a result, we got these uh, two right triangles. This first one is uh, right triangle uh, ADC and this other right triangle is ADB. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC. And now we are going to label uh, this perpendicular AD. I'm going to call this perpendicular as our height uh, lowercase h. And now let's recall uh, so katoa and we are interested in uh, sine of angle uh, 60 degrees and sine equals to opposite uh, over hypotenuse. So therefore for this angle uh, 60 degrees, this side is going to be our opposite side and this is going to be our hypotenuse. So therefore, uh, sine of uh, 60 degrees is going to be equal to h divided by x minus 7. And now we can see sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, I am going to replace this uh, sine of 60 by square root of 3 divided by 2. And now we are going to multiply both uh, sides by x uh, minus 7 and this side uh, x minus 7 uh, to isolate h. And here we can see x minus 7 and x minus 7 is gone. So therefore our h value turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 2 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 7. Let me call this our equation uh, number one. And now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, ADB. And we are going to recall uh, so Cartois once again. At this time we are interested in uh, sine of 45 degrees equal to opposite uh, over hypotenuse. So therefore for this angle of 45 degrees, uh, this is going to be our hypotenuse and this side is going to be our opposite. So therefore, uh, sine of uh, 45 degrees is going to be equal to h divided by x minus 5. And now we know that sine of 45 degrees is uh, square root of 2 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this side by square root of 2 divided by 2. And now we are going to multiply both uh, sides by x uh, minus uh, 5 and on this side x minus 5 as well to isolate h and we can see over here this x minus 5 and x minus 5 is uh, gone so therefore our h value turns out to be equal to square root of 2 divided by 2 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 5 let me call this our equation uh, number 2 so therefore we are ended up with these uh, two equations and now we are compare uh, these uh, equations and now we can see the left hand sides are uh, identical so therefore we are going to equate uh, these uh, right hand sides as well 
So therefore we can write uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 times uh, x minus 7 equal to square root of uh, 2 divided by 2 times uh, x minus 5. And now we are going to remove the fraction by multiplying by 2 on both uh, sides and we can see this 2 and 2 is gone likewise this 2 and 2 is gone as well on the left hand side we got uh, square root of 3 times uh, x minus 7 equal to we got square root of 2 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 5 let's distribute uh, these quantities uh, on both uh, sides so therefore this is going to give us uh, x times uh, square root of uh, 3 minus uh, 7 times square root of 3 equals to on the right hand side x times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, 2 let's combine the like terms uh, by moving this uh, quantity on the right hand side and likewise I'm going to move this x times square root of 2 on the left hand side and now we can factor out x uh, from the left hand side so x times uh, square root of 3 minus square root of 2 is going to give us uh, on the right hand side 7 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and now let's divide both sides by square root of 3 minus square root of 2 so we can see this is uh, gone so therefore our x value turns out to be equal to 7 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 5 times uh, square root of 2 all over square root of uh, 3 minus uh, square root of uh, 2 and now we are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying and divided by its uh, conjugate so therefore I am going to multiply by square root of 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 2 divided by square root of uh, 3 plus uh, square root of 2 as well and now we are going to multiply these uh, numerators and the uh, denominators uh, as well so let's multiply the numerators for that's going to give us uh, 21 plus uh, 7 times uh, square root of uh, 6 minus uh, 5 times uh, square root of uh, 6 and then uh, minus uh, 10 divided by now we are going to multiply these uh, conjugates and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b times a plus b is equal to a square minus b square and we are going to apply it uh, on these uh, denominators so therefore the denominator could be written as a square root of 3 whole uh, square minus uh, square root of uh, 2 whole uh, square and now let's focus on the denominator this square root of 3 and square is going to give us 3 minus square root of 2 whole square is 2 3 minus 2 is going to give us 1 so therefore this denominator is just simply 1 so therefore I replace this denominator by 1 and now let's combine the like terms on the numerator so therefore our x value is going to be simply 11 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 6 so thus our x value turns out to be 11 plus 2 times uh, square root of 6 uh, units and that is going to be equal to approximately 15.9 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye